Sauron is certainly one of the strongest representatives of the dark side in the history of the Lord of the Rings world. He was second only to his master Morgoth in power. However, over the millennia of wars and battles, Sauron has been defeated more than once. He was defeated by the Numenorians, their descendants, the Elves, and once Sauron was defeated by a giant dog named Juan. It is to this amazing creature that my story today will be dedicated. Who was Juan? Juan was a giant intelligent wolfhound. His size was comparable to a horse, and fairly tall elves could use him as a riding animal. However, Juan allowed almost no one to ride him, as he was independent. Tolkien had two versions of the origin of this dog. The first version was that Juan was one of the spirits of Meyer who had taken over the animal's body. From here come his abilities. About them, about them, a little later, and the mind. However, after a while, Tolkien abandoned this version and introduced another. According to the second version, Juan is an ordinary animal, which, however, was elevated by the spirits of the Valar so much that it gained reason. Something like the great eagles. The principle is the same. Juan was a member of the retinue of the Valar hunter Arom. Even before the awakening of the elves, Arom traveled extensively throughout Middle-earth, tracking and hunting the terrible creatures of Morgoth and Juan accompanied him on these journeys, probably becoming a strong and experienced fighter during this period. Juan's abilities far exceeded those of ordinary dogs. His hearing, sniffing, and eyesight were particularly acute. He was also very fast, strong, and hardy. Juan could run for long periods of time without stopping or resting, and he didn't need any sleep at all. But even that wasn't the giant wolfhound's main strength. He had more impressive abilities. Juan was highly resistant to magic. He was unaffected by spells and illusions. The dog was immortal and lived for at least a few hundred years. By immortal, I mean invulnerable to aging. But he was just as vulnerable to violent death as any other creature. Juan was also an intelligent creature. He understood the language of humans and elves, had a lot of knowledge about the nature of Middle-earth, namely he knew the healing properties of herbs and plants. In exceptional cases, he could even speak but it happened only three times in his life. After Vala Orom found the awakened elves and brought them to Valinor, he gave Juan to one of the elves, Kelegorm of the Noldor people, the third son of Theonor. Juan became a loyal companion to the elf and experienced many events with him. When Kelegorm and his father and brothers rebelled against the Valar and sailed to Middle-earth against their will, Juan followed his new master. There he participated in large-scale wars with Morgoth and fought valiantly. Kelegorm eventually settled in the kingdom of Nagothrond, ruled by his cousin Finrod and then by his nephew Orodreth. However, Kelegorm and his brother Kurufin decided to seize power in the kingdom, and they succeeded. Huang's master became increasingly evil and obsessed with power. When the elven woman Luthien appeared in the lands of Nagothrond, Juan smelled her and brought her to his master. Kelegorm fell in love with the girl, but she refused him, so he locked her away to marry her by force, and he put Juan in charge of guarding Luthien. Juan began to spend a lot of time in the company of Luthien. She told him her story, and after a while she got the dog on her side. Then he spoke for the first time. The dog felt compassion for her and helped her escape from the dungeon. In doing so, he betrayed his master, but he still thought he was doing the right thing. Luthien's lover, the human baron, was at this time a prisoner of Sauron, and the elf, together with Juan, decided to rescue him. The two of them sneaked to Werewolf Island, which Sauron was occupying at the time with his werewolves. There, Juan defeated all the werewolves in turn, and then Sauron himself took the form of a giant wolf and came out against him. Luthien, being a powerful sorceress, strengthened Juan with magic, and the Hound defeated Sauron in battle. The future Dark Lord fled in fear from the mighty Wolfhound. Meanwhile, Juan's first elf master, Kelegorm, and his brother Kurufin were banished from Nargothrond, and the Hound followed them, though Kelegorm chased him away. But on the way they met Luthien and Baron, as luck would have it. Kelegorm and Kurufin attacked them, but Juan saved Luthien again by shielding him from an arrow. He finally abandoned Kelegorm and began to serve Luthien. Together with her and Baron, 
he set out to retrieve the Silmaril Stone from Morgoth himself. It was Juan who eventually summoned the Great Eagles, who saved Beren and Luthien at a key moment. It was then that he spoke a second time. However, the Silmaril remained in Beren's hand, which was swallowed by the worst of the werewolf wolves, Kararoth. Beren and Juan tracked it down and attacked it, but the monster was so strong that he defeated Beren. Then Juan entered the fray. The dog fought desperately and eventually managed to overpower the enemy. But he himself was too wounded and soon gave up his spirit before speaking for the third and last time. Thus ended the busy life of the intelligent wolfhound Juan in Middle-earth. If you are interested, don't forget to put a like and subscribe.